Hello everyone, it's James. You are looking at the Daicho Gun Cancer Kit, which means the Colorecto Cancer Kit. If you live in Japan and are at least 40 years old, then you're eligible for this. It's a good thing and I recommend it. This date, March 16th, Heisei 30, which is next year, you have until next year to do this examination. The examination kit only costs 500 yen, so it's worth it. Now I'm going to open it. This kit comes with a family history form and two little vials containing liquid. There is an extra envelope for you to put your kit back into and send. And here comes the kit. Two little vials and the family history form and some information. Okay, looking at the form, it says Kobe Shi Dai Haragan Kensa Hyo, and the date. This is my personal information, uh, my date of birth, my age, and now for the family history. Looking at question number one, they're asking me, have I experienced any strange bowel movement? Have I noticed anything different? No. Yeah. Question number two, they're asking, have I noticed any blood in my stool? No, yet. Question number three, they're asking, have I ever had any kind of sickness, serious sickness? They give a list of sicknesses, and I could say no, yet. Question number four, they're asking me, have I ever had this colorectal exam before? And my answer is yes. So I'll circle Aru and then I'll write the date. Looking at question number five, they're asking me has anyone in my family, in my bloodline, ever had colorectal cancer? And I'll say, no one. Inai. For the last area, I would write the dates and the times for the two tests. I'm doing one today and one for tomorrow. For the bottom part, I would cut off this area. That's my receipt. All right. Let's look at the kit itself. Okay, let's look at the uh, kit itself. At the top, you pull along the dotted line right there. Just rip it off. Finally. One, two, Three, four, and this packaging I need I need to write my full name my age and my gender and the dates of the tests I have two vials one with a blue label and one with a red label for day one I'll be using the blue label and for day two, I'll be using the red label. I will have to write my full name, then my gender, then my age, and the date of the test, and the time of the test. So do this before you do the actual test. This is the instruction guide on how to properly do the test. Viewer discretion is advised. It is disgusting. Okay, as I mentioned before, you have to fill out your personal information first and the date and the time of the test. To remove the cap, you turn counterclockwise. Then you pull up here comes the disgusting part. You're going to swab it with this little stick 
and that's how much you need to get on the stick properly so you're gonna swipe it like that when you have enough of your sample you stick it into this vial like this and then turn the cap do the test consecutively now looking at this piece of paper it has a funny little picture on it with a target that's right a target that's where you're supposed to drop your poop you get two sheets one for day one and one for day two the two illustrations show you two types of toilets to the left if you have a toilet with lots of water put three to four sheets of toilet paper if your toilet doesn't have so much water in it then no extra toilet paper is required just put the sh target sheet in the water like so so you see this green star that's where you're supposed to poop right there not on the guy <laughs> but if you want to but just poop in that zone and then take that stick and swipe 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 get your sample and then jam it back into that vial we are now in my Japanese bathroom and I'll show you how much toilet paper you need so you're gonna put that toilet paper in the water you're just gonna drop it down I decided to get another sheet now I'm ready to drop the toilet paper into the water and here it goes there's the target on the toilet paper here is my disgusting sample it'll take some time to reach the bottom but there's some chemical reaction happening once you finish both tests you're going to use this envelope and you're going to put everything in it including the family history information and you have to get a stamp for this and then mail it and that's it for this video thanks for watching bye